Hey, all right. We ready to do the Hey guys, it's Chris and Katrina with our everyday getaway. Welcome back to the channel. We really Welcome. appreciate it. And this video, we roll out of Sun Outdoors RV Resort. Mer no, no, no. Sun Outdoors Myrtle Beach. Oh, I'm sorry. In it's like a Conway, resort. South Carolina. Yeah, it's close to Myrtle Beach. Yeah, and it's it was a fantastic uh, stay. We enjoyed it. it we had awesome. a great time. We work our way mm -hmm. back to Maryland. We set up at home base. We're gonna share that experience with you. We're gonna show you how we set up at home base. And by the way, real quick, when you watch the video, when you're watching it, you'll see a clip in the back of my hat. Try to ignore that. Yeah. I had a hat on and I think my head shrunk and the hat got <laughs> too big. Not. I think it did. No, Ooh, it so sorry. So watch the, the video, check it out. out. We'll show you how we set up. We have a question for you guys. For those of you who full-time RV, That's I have true. a question. What's your question? As a full-time RVer, should you have a home base? I would say, as myself being a full-time RVer, yes, I need a full a blah, 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 home base. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video. Yes. We talk about this, we discuss this, tell you what we think. Do you need a home base? Okay. Welcome to the channel. Where, Can hold you a guys second. see that? Hold a second. Did you see that little bug? It literally it's went- It's a sweat bee. It went on the lens of the camera. That's too funny. Oh my god. And he's sitting right there. Get out. Guys, welcome to the channel, <laughs> our everyday getaway. Make sure you check things out. We'll see you in a few. We're rolling out of the Sun Outdoor Myrtle Beach, formerly known as Carolina Pines RV Resort. And we are actually headed back to Maryland. We are. I don't want to say home because this is home. It's home. But, it, what'd you say? Nothing. It's not, no. I didn't say anything. Sometimes I say we're going home, but this is home. You wherever we take this. Take we had a great time. Family time is a great time, good time. But we also want, we're thankful because we finally got to meet Angelo and Sandy. Sandy, which was exciting. We had a great time with them. We're looking forward to spending some more time with you guys. Hope to see you soon. And we also want to thank Sharona. Is it Sharona? Ooh, and I Cedric. forgot how... Yes. I Shere no, Sharina. Sharina. I'm thinking Sharina. of the song. My, my Sharina. My Sharina. <laughs> I was thinking, Sharina, I'm it's sorry. Like, it's like Katrina, but it's oh, Sharina. Okay. There you go, really good. So thank you guys for stopping by and saying hi, man. That, that meant a lot to us. We had a blast talking to you guys we for a did. few minutes. We did, thank you. Uh, we really appreciate it. I may drive home today, I don't know. It's about a 10 hour drive, so we're gonna stop at a Cracker Barrel. We've stayed at the Cracker Barrel before. It's a nice Cracker Barrel. Uh, plenty of room to park the rig without uh, unhooking. So, unless we'll, Unless Chris gets a wild hair, up as you know what and he drives all the way home because he's like that he'll just all of a sudden you heard me all of a sudden he'll be like yeah i think we can do it I i'm just gonna drive through i, I don't feel like and I'm yeah like, okay. but nowadays you know? you know i'm i'm usually good for a three to five hour drive but it's a it's gonna take us about five hours to get to roanoke so when we get to roanoke i'll see how i feel Katrina and i are moving on and home. we hope to see you guys on the road someday if you're ever out there, we cross paths. Don't ever hesitate to stop and say hi. Well, Katrina and I made it back to Maryland in the RV for the first time in over a year. This is home base for us. We haven't brought the RV back. We haven't had the RV here in over a year, going back to March of 2022, and we're now in the end of June of 2023. I was able to quickly disconnect the Jeep and set up the RV, got it set up just for the night. But now I'm gonna take it around the back side of the building. Now, for those of you who don't know, we, we live in the RV full time, but we do have a home base. And this is property that's been owned by Katrina's family for years. And it used to be a garden center. This is where we also stored our personal belongings when we sold the house. Around back, we had a 50 amp, 30 amp, and a 20 amp pedestal installed. We're gonna be here for a month, so we're gonna set up. We don't have full hookups, but what we do is once we set up the RV, we just go inside and use the bathroom and use the shower. And um, we could use 
the gray tanks and we could just dump the gray tank out in the field because it's just shower water and dish water it's, it's not a big deal it's their property it's like about three and a half acres it's not a level spot it would be nice i think if i stayed here more often i would put down some crush, crush and run and maybe level it out to make it easier to set the rv up but we don't stay here that often. Like I said, it's been over a year since we've had the RV here. I'll drive it around the backside of the property. I'll show you that, do a real quick setup just to give you some, just to show you, you know, how we set up when we're back in Maryland from time to time. Like I said, this was a garden center. So you had these greenhouses here, the enclosed greenhouses and the open greenhouses. And we've just put some family stuff. This isn't all our stuff. This is the entire family, both uh katrina and i and katrina's brother put some stuff in here for just storage so that did make it easier for us we didn't have to rent out a uh, shed a storage shed and it, we didn't have a lot of stuff anyway but out here is where we're going to park the rv i mean it's really not that bad it's, it's convenient plus it's a it's a place to just set up for a while and you know, it's not really that big of a deal to get out of the RV and go inside and use the ba bathroom and take a shower. And as you can see right here, you know, we got the 50, the 30, and the 20 amp. And I'm going to park the RV in. I've parked it in a couple different ways, you know, north, south, east, west, whatever. I've done it a few different ways and it doesn't really matter. I'm going to pay more attention to it though this time. I am going to park it in so that the sun is away from us and we're getting more shade for most of the day but it is a large property i think if i had to do it over again i would have moved the pedestal somewhere else you get the traffic noise out there which really once you run the ac units and i got a fan running it doesn't really bother me but we want it to be away as much as possible from the traffic noise but i'll bring the rv in around here i'll come in around there it's really not that bad. I don't have to worry about any kind of mud or anything like that. It's doable. It's just a pain in the butt to level up the rig. It takes me a little while to level it up. It's just not a good spot to set up in in terms of leveling the RV. But I'm going to show you. See me bring it around and we'll get set up. And we're going to be here for about a month. That's probably about three weeks too long. Don't tell Katrina I said that. All right, well, we're set up. The only thing I didn't do was hook up the water, but the garden center, the water system here works on a well and the pressure from the well is not great, not great at all. So it's much easier for us to just fill up the water tank in the RV and just use the water pump. The pressure is much better. So that's what we usually do. And if we have to, we will dump the gray tank. I'll extend the hoses out as far as it'll go, you know, 20, 30 feet. And I'll dump, dump the gray tank. It's just, it's just, you know, sink water. We just go inside the building, take showers, wash clothes, clean up. Most of it is all done inside. It only takes a few minutes to go inside. So as you can see, <clears throat> if you look uh, 20 feet, about 20 feet from axle to axle, there's a huge difference in elevation. And... I made these platforms here a few years ago when I had the uh, first RV we had. And I made it just for the sole purpose right here of 
you know, setting up because there's such a huge difference in elevation. Oh, well, you know, from front to rear, so. But uh, that's the gist of it. I got the um, Starlink set up, so that's working fine out here. No obstruction whatsoever. And, and like I said before, we'll be here for about a month. And then we'll get on the road. We'll go up to the Northeast Corridor and we'll come back to Maryland for a few months during the holidays through Thanksgiving. And then we'll head back down south, back into Florida. And we got some big plans for next year. And um, we're here for a while. It, now, now that we showed you in, in, in this video, and like I said, don't pay, I, I'm sorry about the clip. Oh, it, good it, gracious. Um, but here's the thing. It's worse than a girl. H here's the question. I don't think so. Yes. Don't, how dare you? <laughs> here is the question for you guys. It's a serious question. I was serious. Serious. Get serious. Should you have mm -hmm. a home base mm -hmm. if you're a full time RVer? Should you have a home base? As a full time RVer, yes, I need a home base. Why? You never know. I mean, we were all caught off guard with the whole COVID thing, yeah. and there were a lot of people stranded didn't have a place to go and a lot of campgrounds and resorts were not accepting people to come in or made them you know had them stay for you know, long periods of time we fortunately were not full-time rv and we were only part-time rving at that time um so if something were ever to happen and something hit the fan i'd like to know that i have somewhere to go that's safe and secure and family and friends are around just for that kind of peace of mind something hit the fan something i hit think the they fan. call it SHTF, and you guys know what that means. Yeah. But yeah, and, and Katrina's right. So we didn't have to deal with it. We were fortunate. We did watch, we were watching a lot of channels at that time, and we were watching how they dealt with it. And okay. some of them were having a hard time finding places. Some of them were lucky enough to have friends who allowed them to stay on their property for an extended period True. of time. So we kind of took mental notes be, because we, we thought to ourselves, hey, if we were full-time RVers, what would we do? So as we got closer to retiring, one of the things we did was we installed, in the video I showed you, we installed a pedestal here on property and mm -hmm. just just for that reason. And when we've traveled on the road, in the back of our minds, we've always been, we've had a sense of comfort. No matter what happens when we're out on the road, we right. can always come back home. We can always come back home. Did you hear that? Yeah. Can we've been home now for a month. We've been we, home a month and it's been a whirlwind. Got ready for my mom's surprise 80th birthday party. That was great. We did lots of um, trips and things with the kids. We spent a lot of time with the grandkids, so that was awesome. Yeah. But, uh, doctors, doctor's appointments, dentist appointments. I mean, it's never ending. I don't know how we ever get to travel with as much as we go and, to the doctors anymore. And the crazy thing about it is... Jeez. Really, if we were being honest, mm -hmm. we would probably need another month here to finish wrapping everything up, taking care of it. Well, Don't that's you think? true. And, you know, I didn't think about that. The other thing was Chris got to spend a lot of time catching up on work. So that was nice because yeah. when we're out on the road, there's a lot of times we're at places and he doesn't really spend enough time working because we're out enjoying ourselves which yeah. is our priority actually i mean that's we wanted a, we wanted that's what we should be doing that's a really good point and katrina's right. right you get on the road a lot of times you're like oh god i gotta go someplace i gotta do right. something i gotta do well, something and and here's the other thing with that is when you're out on the road and you're paying good money for a nice resort and he has to stay inside two days or three days and work on the channel and whatnot, that just doesn't make good sense. It doesn't make good financial sense. So we're playing, we're spending money to stay at a beautiful place and we're not enjoying it as much as we should. So at least here he can do that and we don't feel like we're wasting money or we need to get yeah, out there and do something. That's, she's absolutely right. That's yeah. what home base gives you that flexibility. And what's crazy is that, yeah. and you guys may have experienced this. And if you have, leave a comment down below, let us know. When you get back to your home base and you start falling into the same routine that you used to when you lived here. You start going to the same places, seeing the same people. Going to uh, the same stores to go shopping right. and buy good stuff. You you fall into those routines that you yeah. used to when you had a sticks and bricks. And it's easy to get caught back up into that routine. It is. It is. And it takes you away from that. Because full-time RV living is a different routine. So it's, it's kind of interesting how that, that all works out. Sure. If you're thinking about full-time RVing, you need to have a home base. And I really don't care if the home base is your property, 
or a family's property or even a friend's property. I mean, because if you sell everything and that's it, if you can work something out with a friend or anything to kind of... I'll be calling all my cousins in the next hour or two. Yeah, but we're not going to Pennsylvania. I don't what want to go going? to Pennsylvania. I got, no, no, no. I have cousins in Montana and California uh, and Colorado. I have them in Indiana. I mean, Florida. We can just make a list. Yeah. It's yeah. almost every state I have a relative. And I think cousin. it's... I, I do think it's and important uncle, to do Texas, that. Texas, all over. Yeah, I think it's important to do that to try to set something up if you can now this is a question for those of you who domicile because we know very little about domicile yeah, a little bit just a little bit just a little bit what do you do what do you guys do when you domicile in say south dakota or florida where where is your home base do you set up maybe they don't have a home base well, right well we have friends yeah. who have a home base in wisconsin for a part of the year we do and they domicile in south dakota yeah so mm -hmm. i guess you can call it a home base if you will it's still a campground it is a campground yeah what would they do if after their three month stay at that campground, campground. If, if they had a situation like COVID, what would they do my guess i'm is sure they, they would stay they would stay okay I don't know how that'll, we just, we don't know they how it works. They would so for those of you who domicile, mm -hmm. what do you do about a home base? If you even have a home base, leave a comment down below. Tell us what you guys think. You know, get, share us your, your suggestions so your that thoughts. we can, your thoughts. That way we can let everyone know because I'm curious now. I don't know. I, you You're know, always curious. Uh, yes. We're tr always trying to learn. When That's it comes true. to this, and I'd rather hear That's from true. the, I would rather hear from the subscribers because they're really good at this stuff. You guys are true. great. You guys, we have learned a lot. Like you guys say. come up with some stuff that we didn't even, we wouldn't even think about like, because oh, that makes perfect sense. Why didn't we think of that? But yeah, yeah. you need a home base. You do. I, I really think you do, and it's it, it well, does. It, well, but they may disagree. They may say we don't need a home base. So uh, when if you don't yeah. tell us why you don't need a home exactly. base and tell us how you deal with this. For those of you who've been full time RVing pre COVID, what did you do during COVID? How that did you manage? That's a good question. That's How a good did question. you manage? Because, right. you know, going to a campground for an extended period of time, if that campground already has places booked out, how did you deal with it? How did you handle it? If that were to happen, God forbid that should happen again, we know we can come back here to Maryland. Yes. So we're safe. And having a home base is a good thing. It allows us to take care of business. It allows us to meet with friends. It, it allows us to hang out with family. Grand babies. All those things were fantastic. We just wanted to get your opinion on that. We wanted to share with you our home base setup. Yeah. It works for us. It does. And we, we get to, to we're, we're coming back again for another two months after our next extended trip. We are. After we do the Northeast, we're going to come back down. Um, we won't be at home base for that long. And then actually, we're going to take advantage of the area. It's beautiful in this area in the fall. I know you guys have ever been in like the Virginia, West Virginia, Maryland area, Pennsylvania area during the fall. The leaves are amazing. We're going to take advantage of that and maybe do some stuff on the eastern shore. Even though we're going to be here for two months. We have we're lots still, to do. We still want to do some weekend trips and some harvest hose stuff. But what, it's a great thing to have a home base it is share our, your thoughts tell us leave a comment down below tell us your the pros and cons and i don't know if there's a con to having a home base i think it's nothing not but for pros. me not for me yeah i really do it's a good thing it's a peace of mind thing yeah. we just wanted to share this with you we wanted to ask you guys what you thought give you a, a, some semblance of what we do for a home base mm -hmm. And tell us what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. If you found this video useful, if you like it, give us a thumbs up. It helps out the channel. We're trying to grow, continue to grow. We really appreciate your support. If this is your first time here, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell. You'll be notified every time we release a video. Every time. Every time we release a video. Yeah. And it's been great, guys. It has. We're getting ready to go back out on the road. And having a good time, having some fun. It's all good. She gets to hang out with me. I'm so fortunate. Wow. She's I'm so, so fortunate. Look at that. Okay, guys. That's it for this video. It we is. want to thank you guys for joining us. We really appreciate your support. And remember, any day, day you can get, get away, away is a, a great, great day. day. You guys take care. Thanks, guys. We'll see you. Bye.